Hi guys, today we're going to show you how you can enable beamforming on your wireless LAN controller. Um, I'm guessing you already know what beamforming is if you want to enable it. If you don't, then you should probably research it before you enable it. But uh, it's basically about optimizing the SNR margin at both the client end and the AP, uh, the downlink and the uplink um, transmissions. Uh, there's much better explanations on the Cisco YouTube channel as well as the Cisco website um, and they'll be able to give you much more in-depth and technical analysis of beamforming than what I can. So we're going to get straight into it and what you need to do is obviously open up an SSH session or serial session. You can't do it from the GUI as far as I'm aware, enable beamforming that is. So once you're in to your terminal session, what you want to do is do config. And the first thing you want to do is disable both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz networks. So what we want to do is do 802.11a disable uh, network. And uh, disabling that may jam mesh APs. Yes, we want to continue, yes. And then we'll do the same thing for the 802.11b disable network. I don't think you have to do it for G. No, B is represents 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, so once they're both disabled, you can do. You have to enable beamforming uh, individually on each uh, spectrum. So 2.4 and 5 gig. Let's start with 5 gigahertz, and we'll say beamforming global enable and the same thing for the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum global enable then just remember to enable the networks again so network oh no sorry uh, enable let's work and the same thing for the b 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. So that's how you enable beamforming. Uh, it's a very short video, I know. Um, there's not really much else to do it um, to do there, but um, you, obviously, as I said, you can go to uh, go to YouTube and have a look at beamforming. Get a more in-depth understanding of it. It's uh, it's a great feature, and it definitely helps with um, improved performance on newer wireless chips, especially in the Apple stuff. Um, like um, MacBooks and iPads and things like that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this information useful.